Hello, this is teacher Christopher from the United Kingdom, currently living in Hong Kong. I was a lawyer in London and for over 30 years have been teaching public speaking and presentation skills for both adults and children. Now, I can record for you two versions of any poem or reading or other piece from the 69th Hong Kong Speech Festival for you, or indeed from any speech competition or festival wherever you might be in the world. I can record two versions. The first will be with very plain English for excellent pronunciation and enunciation, and this will allow you to get your English accent just right. Some people say that it's not important to have an English accent when delivering a poem at the speech festival, but I disagree. Am I not right to say that if you are going to speak an English poem at an English speaking festival, if you can use a really good English accent, it is going to sound better. Now, the second version I can do for you also includes intonation and intonation is the way you say things it's not just pronouncing the word properly it's not just saying the word clearly it's saying the words in an interesting way so that your listener wants to hear today i'm going to look at the secret diary of adrian mole age 13 and three quarters by Sue Townsend. Now I recall this book being published in the UK when it first came out and it sold hundreds of thousands not just to kids but also to adults because it's really funny and it's all about the trials and worries and you know, problems that teenagers go through. So let's have a look at the poem. Now the first version I can record for you just for pronunciation and enunciation and your good English accent will be something like this. My mother rang Dr. Gray's receptionist, receptionist, receptionist to make an appointment, 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 but the earliest 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 he can see me is next monday for all he knows i could have lassa lassa fever and be spreading it all around the district now that is without any intonation at all but i will record the whole piece like that and this will really help you get your pronunciation, enunciation and English accent right. Then you have to think about intonation, saying the piece in an interesting way, as if you were Adrian Mole, this teenager. So the second version will be something like this. Woke up this morning to find my face covered in huge red spots. My mother said they were caused by nerves, but I am still convinced that my diet is inadequate. We have been eating a lot of boiling the back stuff lately. Perhaps I'm allergic to plastic. My mother rang Dr. Gray's receptionist to make an appointment, but the earliest he can see me is next Monday. For all he knows, I could have Lassa fever and be spreading it all around the district. Okay, so I will do the whole piece, something like that. And of course, it's very, very different to just saying it in a really boring way. Now, one thing I would say is that you will find many examples on YouTube of um, people suggesting that you should speak in a sing-song voice. Oh, don't do that, please. What is a sing-song voice? Let me give you an example. 
woke up this morning to find my face covered in huge red spots. My mother said they were caused by nerves. Oh my goodness, don't do that. No native English speaker would ever say this piece like that. It's an English speaking competition, not a singing competition. Anyway, what do you have to do next? If you would like me to record this piece or any other piece for any festival, just write to me at hongkongspeechfestival at gmail.com. You will see the um, email address at the bottom of this page. And also, please have a look at my website, hongkongspeechfestival.weebly.com. I hope to hear from you. Bye-bye.